There are major changes coming with full self-driving version 14.2 and then even bigger ones with 14.3. And honestly, by the time version 14.3 is fully deployed, that may be the moment when people can truly relax, close their eyes, and wake up at their destination. According to Elon Musk, this is the point where autonomous driving crosses a psychological line. The Tesla RoboTaxi Cyber Cab in 2026, powered by FSD version 14.3, is expected to reach a milestone where human supervision is no longer required for everyday driving. Elon Musk has hinted at this before, even saying that with version 14.2.2.2, which is currently rolling out, Tesla is already approaching something that feels close to true autonomy. Tesla has also revealed a staggering number that few companies on earth can even dream of matching. Across the six countries where supervised full self-driving is available, Tesla vehicles have now driven more than 7 billion miles using FSD. That number is not just impressive, it is strategically powerful. Every mile feeds Tesla's neural network, refining decision-making, edge case handling, and real-world driving intelligence. No other autonomous driving company comes close to this scale of real-world data collected directly from consumer vehicles operating in live traffic. Recently, viral videos have exploded across social media showing Tesla RoboTaxi CyberCab test vehicles driving side-by-side -side with, and sometimes even overtaking, Waymo autonomous cars on public roads. These moments may look simple on the surface, but they reveal something much deeper. They unintentionally highlight how different the philosophies are behind these two approaches to autonomy. On one side, Waymo vehicles appear bulky and mechanical, covered in visible sensors and rooftop hardware. On the other side, Tesla's CyberCab looks clean, minimal, and almost normal, blending into traffic like any other modern vehicle. That visual familiarity matters more than people realize. Tesla's CyberCab removes the intimidating appearance that often makes autonomous vehicles feel experimental or unsafe. Instead, it looks like a natural evolution of Tesla's current design language, closely resembling the refreshed Model Y and newer Tesla concepts. This helps passengers feel more comfortable because the car doesn't scream. Robot. It feels familiar and familiarity builds trust. Many concept renders online show the CyberCab in matte black bright red, silver, or even bold futuristic finishes. However, based on Tesla's manufacturing strategy, it is widely believed the CyberCab will only be sold in a single base color. Customers who want variety will likely apply wraps themselves. Tesla has done this before to simplify production and reduce costs. Color variety looks exciting in renders, but simplicity wins at scale. What truly matters is timing. Production is expected to begin in late April, and this could trigger one of the biggest pricing shifts the automotive industry has ever seen. Lower production complexity combined with autonomous capability could completely redefine what people expect to pay per mile for transportation. So how exactly will the Tesla CyberCab change pricing forever? And why does Elon Musk stay unusually quiet whenever pricing details are discussed publicly? Welcome to Future Drive Hub where we break down what's really happening behind the scenes of the EV revolution. Before we go deeper, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and turn on notifications. Tesla is moving fast, and the next update is already around the corner. If you want to stay ahead of everyone else, this is the place to be. Now let's talk about something that shocked the industry just last week. In San Francisco, a large number of Waymo autonomous vehicles suddenly stopped operating due to a widespread power outage. Traffic lights went dark across multiple intersections, and Waymo's system responded exactly as it was programmed to. The cars treated the intersections as four-way stops and, in many cases, waited for remote human confirmation before proceeding. The problem was scale. Too many vehicles requested confirmation at the same time. The system became overloaded. As a result, Waymo cars became stuck at intersections, blocking traffic and creating serious congestion. Waymo was forced to suspend service temporarily and manually retrieve vehicles in batches. The company later acknowledged that although it has successfully handled more than 7,000 intersections without traffic signals, the sheer volume of confirmation requests during the outage overwhelmed their system. 
Waymo stated that it is now updating software across its entire fleet to better detect regional power outages, improve emergency response planning, and enhance training for emergency responders. While these steps are reasonable, the incident reignited a long-standing debate about what fully autonomous really means. If a system still requires human confirmation during unusual situations, is it truly autonomous? Or is it autonomy with a human safety net? Elon Musk wasted no time responding indirectly. He has repeatedly claimed that Tesla robo-taxi vehicles are designed to continue operating effectively even during power outages. According to Musk, Tesla's vision-based approach does not depend on external infrastructure signals in the same way. That said, Tesla's robo-taxi cyber cab is still under close supervision during testing as the company prepares for its planned launch in the first quarter of 2026. The difference between Tesla and Waymo goes far deeper than software updates. Tesla builds its own vehicles from the ground up. The Model Y and the upcoming cyber cab are designed specifically to support Tesla's autonomous vision. Waymo, by contrast, uses vehicles from multiple automakers, retrofitting them with its autonomous hardware stack. This introduces variation, complexity, and higher costs. Waymo's sensor setup is massive. Each vehicle carries 29 cameras, 5 LiDAR units, and 6 radar sensors positioned around the car. There is also a dedicated high-performance computing system mounted at the rear. This hardware-heavy approach prioritizes precision and redundancy, especially in dense urban environments. LiDAR allows Waymo vehicles to generate highly detailed 3D maps and measure distances with extreme accuracy. But all of that comes at a cost. Each Waymo vehicle is estimated to cost around $180,000. These cars are never sold to consumers. They exist only as part of Waymo's robo-taxi service. Scaling this model is expensive and slow. Tesla takes the opposite approach. The cyber cab relies on just nine cameras, with no LiDAR and no radar. Everything depends on computer vision and artificial intelligence. This drastically reduces hardware costs and brings the estimated vehicle cost down to around $44,990 or even lower for fleet production. Tesla believes that software intelligence, trained on billions of miles of real-world driving, can outperform hardware redundancy. Elon Musk has openly criticized LiDAR for years, calling it inefficient and unnecessary. He has even stated publicly that Waymo never really had a chance against Tesla, and that this will become obvious in hindsight. Whether people agree or not, Tesla is fully committed to this path. All of Tesla's current progress, built on more than 7 billion miles of data, is being funneled directly into the robo-taxi network. This network will consist of two parts. The existing Model Y fleet, and the future purpose-built cyber cab which will feature no steering wheel and no pedals at all. Elon Musk has already shared his personal experience riding in the passenger seat of a Tesla with no safety driver as it navigated Austin smoothly and confidently. Tesla's head of AI confirmed that the experience was impressive and stable. Meanwhile, test Model Y vehicles equipped with additional hardware have been spotted in New York, suggesting Tesla is preparing for expansion. In China, Tesla released a robo-taxi teaser video with the message. Many surprises in 2026. The company also updated its website to emphasize accessibility, including support for passengers with disabilities, service animals, and assisted devices. Tesla even announced cleaning fees for the robo-taxi network, $50 for moderate messes and $150 for severe cases like smoking or vomiting signaling that operational planning is already very real. Multiple cybercab prototypes have now been spotted testing on the streets of Austin, still equipped with steering wheels and labeled as engineering validation vehicles. This confirms Tesla is still in early real-world testing, but the direction is clear. And this is where things start to get really interesting, because the cybercab is not just another car with self-driving software added later. It is something entirely different. And this is where things truly separate the cyber cab from everything else on the road today. The cyber cab is not a traditional car that learned how to drive itself later. It is a vehicle designed from day one with autonomy as its only purpose. That distinction matters more than most people realize. Nearly every car on the market today, 
including Tesla's own Model 3 and Model Y, still carries assumptions built around human drivers. Steering wheels, pedals, dashboards, comfort features, and redundant systems that exist mainly because a human might need them. The cyber cab throws those assumptions away completely. By removing the idea of a human driver, Tesla unlocked design freedom that simply does not exist in conventional vehicles. The result is a machine that is lighter, cheaper, more efficient, and far better suited for non-stop urban operation. This is not just clever engineering, it is economic strategy in physical form. One of the most powerful advantages of the cyber cab is extreme weight reduction. Tesla estimates the cyber cab will weigh roughly between 3,000 and 3,200 pounds. That is around 700 to 900 pounds lighter than a Model 3. That difference alone changes everything, from energy consumption to tire wear to braking efficiency. Less weight means less energy needed per mile and that directly translates into lower operating costs for a robo-taxi fleet. This weight reduction is made possible through aggressive simplification and structural innovation. The cyber cab uses front and rear giga castings, dramatically reducing the number of parts needed to build the vehicle. Fewer parts mean fewer welds, fewer joints, fewer failure points, and faster assembly times. For a vehicle intended to operate almost continuously, this is a massive advantage. It also lowers long-term maintenance costs, which is critical for fleet economics. Material choice plays an equally important role. Instead of traditional steel or aluminum body panels, the cyber cab uses polyurethane plastic panels. This material is lighter, more resistant to corrosion, and far more forgiving when it comes to minor impacts. A robo-taxi will inevitably experience door dings, scrapes, and urban wear. Polyurethane panels absorb this abuse better and reduce repair downtime. For a fleet vehicle, durability is not about perfection, it is about resilience. The drivetrain design follows the same philosophy. Tesla has chosen a single motor rear wheel drive setup. That may sound underwhelming to performance enthusiasts, but it is exactly what a robo taxi needs. A single motor reduces complexity, weight, and cost. It also improves efficiency. The cyber cab does not need aggressive acceleration or sporty handling. It needs smooth, predictable motion that feels safe and comfortable for passengers. Battery sizing is another area where Tesla shows discipline. Instead of chasing maximum range, the cyber cab is expected to use a battery pack under 50 kilowatt hours. This should deliver roughly 200 to 250 miles of range, which is more than enough for dense urban use. Robo-taxis spend most of their time driving short trips, not cross-country routes. Smaller batteries charge faster, cost less, and reduce vehicle weight. Combined with an estimated efficiency of up to 5, 5 miles per kilowatt hour, significantly better than the Model Y, the CyberCab becomes extremely cheap to operate. This efficiency is the foundation behind Elon Musk's bold claim that robo-taxi rides could cost around 20 cents per mile. That number would undercut nearly every existing transportation option in major cities. The interior of the cyber cab makes its intentions even clearer. It is minimalist to the extreme. Two seats. No rear bench. No massive infotainment screen. No luxury trim. This is not about stripping value. It is about aligning design with function. A robo-taxi does not need luxury. It needs to be easy to clean, easy to maintain and comfortable enough for short trips. Fewer interior components mean faster cleaning between rides and fewer things that can break. This allows higher vehicle uptime, which directly increases revenue potential. The cyber cab is not pretending to be a personal car. It is honest about what it is. A shared mobility machine. This design philosophy sends a clear signal. Tesla is not just selling cars. It is building transportation infrastructure. When people talk about the cyber cab feeling austere, they miss the point. Every element exists for a reason. Efficiency, autonomy, scale. From a business standpoint, these advantages compound. Lower weight reduces energy usage. Fewer parts reduce manufacturing and maintenance costs. Cheaper materials improve durability. Together, these factors make it realistic for Tesla to price the cyber cab below $30,000 
while still maintaining margins. That is something most automakers have failed to achieve even without autonomy. For fleet operators and individual investors, this changes the equation entirely. A cyber cab is not just a vehicle. It is a revenue-generating asset. And that is why Elon Musk is so careful when discussing pricing publicly. Once the economics become obvious, the competitive landscape changes overnight. The cyber cab also strengthens Tesla's regulatory position. A purpose-built autonomous vehicle with standardized behavior, simplified controls, and predictable operation is easier to certify and regulate than retrofitted consumer cars. As Tesla pushes for a unified federal framework for autonomy, the cyber cab becomes a physical example regulators can evaluate, not just a promise. Critics often compare Tesla to Waymo's heavily geofenced, map-dependent approach and dismiss the cyber cab as unrealistic. But the cyber cab's design tells a different story. It is not overloaded with expensive sensors. It is not confined to limited zones. It is built for production, not experimentation. Where others prioritize redundancy through hardware, Tesla prioritizes intelligence through software. And design is the foundation that allows that software to scale. The cyber cab is persuasive not because it looks futuristic, but because it is coherent. Every design decision supports the same vision. Autonomy at scale. Low cost per mile. Real-world deployment in real cities. If Tesla's unsupervised full-self-driving software continues to prove itself, the cyber cab may be remembered as the moment when cars stopped being personal possessions and became intelligent infrastructure. Not a gimmick. Not a concept. A system. Far from being reckless, the cyber cab represents one of the most disciplined engineering efforts in modern automotive history. If it succeeds, it will not just redefine Tesla. It will redefine how cities move. Those are the latest updates on Tesla's RoboTaxi cyber cab as of our analysis. Next, we'll take a closer look at the most recent developments around the Tesla Model Y and explain why Elon Musk chose the Model Y as the first step toward Tesla's robo-taxi fleet. At the core of that decision is a simple truth. Robo-taxis must make economic sense at scale. They are judged by efficiency per mile, durability over time, and reliability across millions of autonomous hours. This is where the Model Y quietly shines. By using a platform already validated across millions of vehicles and billions of miles, Tesla minimizes unknowns while maximizing data continuity for its full self-driving system. Consistency matters when software learns from real-world behavior. The Juniper refresh shows Tesla's restraint. Instead of adding cost or complexity, Tesla focused on aerodynamic improvements and design refinement. The new front and rear lighting architecture improves airflow efficiency by around 4%. That may sound small, but for a robo-taxi fleet, those gains compound into meaningful cost savings. The Model Y rear-wheel drive version now delivers up to 357 miles of EPA range, while the long-range all-wheel drive offers around 327 miles. Fewer charging stops mean higher uptime and simpler fleet logistics. Interior upgrades matter too. Without a human driver, the cabin must provide comfort and reassurance. Improved materials, better noise isolation, and double-pane rear glass create a quieter, more stable environment. In autonomous travel, silence equals confidence. Seating comfort, improved climate control, and better thermal management reduce energy usage while improving passenger experience. Even small decisions, like keeping a traditional turn signal stock, reflect Tesla's focus on usability during transitional autonomy phases. So when Waymo vehicles freeze during power outages while Tesla claims cyber cab can continue operating, the question becomes clear. Do we trust a cautious system that depends on humans, or a confident system built to stand on its own? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit the like button, share this video, and make sure you're subscribed to Future Drive Hub so you don't miss the next Tesla update coming very soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.